Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another review of another shampoo and conditioner. So, before we jump into that, if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and join the hair care family. Um, I put up videos very regularly on all things hair care. Uh, but let's just jump straight into this video. Um, today's video is going to be on the Fanola NutriCare Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, you can see those here. I have both the shampoo and the conditioner and I have given them a whirl and I thought that I would do a review on these particular products. If you haven't watched one of these videos before then you don't know that I will go through the ingredients in these products, um, sort of lift out what is in them so you guys can understand, put it in layman's terms so you know what all these really ridiculously long technical words are. And then I'm going to give you my overall opinion at the very end on texture, colour and how overall it worked for my hair type. So let's jump into it. The shampoo, I have everything here. Let's just go through the claims that Fanola have. So Fanola uh, shampoo. It is restore softness and moisture to dry, weak or stressed hair with the Fanola NutriCare Reconstructing Shampoo. Enriched with milk proteins, hair is feeling left soft, silky, dry, damaged, frizzy and treated hair is strengthened, protecting against future damage for touchable, healthy locks. Um, so that's all the things that they are claiming for and I will absolutely go out there and say I really think I agree with most of these. Um, I don't think there's anything in particular here that I disagree with. Um, I think that there's a really awesome product. So let's go straight into the ingredients. Um, so NutriCare actually, it's not actually that many ingredients, especially conditioner has a lot less than the shampoo, um, but we will go through the shampoo's ingredients. So the first one is obviously water. Water is the first ingredient in most shampoos and conditioners, very, very common. The next is our sulfate variant. This is sodium laureth sulfate. Um, this is probably one of the more common sulfates that isn't laurel sulfate. Sodium laurel sulfate is a much smaller molecule and a lot more drying. This is a much bigger water soluble molecule that is much milder and much less irritating. So if you are going to look at a sulfate based product, this is one that is quite highly recommended. Um, and if I'm going to use sulfate, I definitely like it to be a sodium laurel sulfate. <coughs> the next ingredient is sodium coca Thoacate, citate. Oh, I always say these words really badly wrong. Um, this is just another cleanser. This is just something that, again, is going to help to cleanse your hair and clean as you do with shampoos. The next one is also another sulfate version. Um, moving on, we have Cocomidopropyl Betaine. That is a... Um, another cleansing product, but it also will give you all those bubbles. Um when you are lathering your hair, so you definitely get a plenty of lather with this product. Um, and it's also quite stabilizing for all your other ingredients. Then we also have sodium chloride. This is, this is just salt. Um, sodium chloride is actually used as a thickening agent. If you are somebody that has any sort of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Keratin products or something in your hair, this is, this is an ingredient you don't want in your shampoo and conditioner, um, but otherwise it is a thickening agent, that is what it's used for. We've got glycodisterate, which is a sort of pearling agent. It gives it that pearlescent look of the shampoo, and it is quite a runny, pearly type of shampoo. It is that clear, liquidy sort of formula, which I was surprised with. Normally things that are mu moisturizing or repairing are quite thick. This is not. We'll talk about that at the end. But this, this product gives it that sheen. We've also got perfume. If you are sensitive to perfume, just giving you a heads up, that is, is both the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I'll talk about the smell a little bit later, but you can definitely tell that it is perfumed. Um, the next ingredient is another cleansing agent. We also have citric acid, um, which is an AHA exfoliant. Exfoliants are obviously fantastic for in a shampoo. It's going to lift all those dead skin cells off your hair and off your scalp so that it can be properly cleansed and cleaned. We also have hydrolyzed wheat protein. This, as it says in the description is a reconstructing shampoo and conditioner and protein is obviously the building block of your hair. Um, so hydrolyzed wheat protein is the one that they particularly use which has form, filming and moisturizing benefits um, and it has all those amino acids and peptides and proteins all built together so this is a really really nice ingredient. We've also got a couple more 
uh, perfuming ingredients, um, preservative ingredients. We've also got propylene glycol, which is another humectant moisturizing ingredient. This is something that's going to suck the water in and trap it in the hair, which is really, really nice. It also helps to stabilize the product itself. We have a couple more sulfates in there. We've also got a couple more preservatives. Um, we've got hydrolyzed casein, which is another type of protein. We really like those proteins in this sort of thing, especially if you have very damaged hair. Um, it is a really, really nice thing to have in there. Um, unfortunately, we do have a couple products that are not as nice. We've got, I'm not even going to try and say these ones because there's a couple of them that I can't even pronounce, but they're basically preservative ingredients, but they are preservative ingredients that are not great for sensitive hair or skin. So if you are quite sensitive, this is not ingredients that you want in your shampoo and conditioner and it might mean that you need to stay away. Um, and then finally, we also have a couple more um, thickening ingredients. So that gives you the base idea for the shampoo, those are all the ingredients. It does have some really nice ingredients in there, plenty of cleansing ingredients um, and a couple not as nice ones. Um, let's talk about colour, texture, smell, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it is quite a runny formula. I was very surprised by this. Um, a little does go a long way and I did find that you do get quite a good foam. It is a clear pearlescent sort of feel and I did shampoo twice. Um, I think this would be good for all hair types. It was almost a little bit stripping on my hair and I have fairly normal to dry hair. <clears throat> but I think the conditioner does make up for that. Um, it is quite perfumed. It does have a very uh, strong perfumey scent. Um, and off the top of my head, as soon as I smelt it, it smells like vanilla yogurt. Which is really weird, but that's, that's what it smells like. It smells like vanilla Greek yogurt. Um... And so that's the scent that it just happens to have. Um, as for doing its job, it cleansed very, very, very well. Um, it made my hair feel quite clean um, and not overly dry, but it definitely was a little bit drying. So that is our shampoo. Moving on to our conditioner. Let's look at those claims. Restore softness and hydration to dry, frizzy, damaged hair with phenol and Nutrico reconstructing conditioner. Rich and nourishing, this strengthening conditioner repairs damaged hair strands, infuses with hydration for soft hair that is smooth and sleek. So let's talk ingredients. I apologize if you can hear my little boy. He is okay. He's with his dad. Um, he's just being a bit clingy right now. Um, so water, we've talked about that before. Cetyl alcohol is one of those ingredients that people get really scared of. It's not a scary ingredient. Just because it has the word alcohol does not mean it is bad. This is an emollient ingredient. It helps give it slip. Uh, we also have a... Let's, let's try and get this. Dimalpi... Dip... Palmitolethyl hydroxyethylmonium methyl sulfate. This is actually a scary sounding ingredient, but it's actually really, really good. This softens and moisturizes hair and has anti static in properties. It is a, a naturally derived ingredient and it also has a great detangling comability purposes. Um, never really heard of the ingredient itself but it actually had some really great research to it so we've got cetrimonium chloride which is our antibacterial and antimicrobial agent we also have perfume like i said these are scented just be wary we've got dipropylene glycol which is another moisturizing humectant agent really really nice to have in a conditioner we've got a couple more perfuming agents we've also got methyl Methoxypeg PPG73. This was something again that sounded really scary, but it's actually a um, conditioning ingredient that gives you conditioning without the loss of volume and leaves silky and smooth hair. Again, naturally derived, really nice. We've also got uh, linseed oil, which is a rich source of fatty acids for moisturizing and repairing hair. This is like their selling point uh, of their conditioner, and this is obviously a fantastic ingredient. We've also got some more preservatives, some more stabilizers. We've got sodium hydroxide, which is a 
pH adjusting, balancing, very alkaline based ingredient. Um, I will talk about the pH in a second. And we've also got two more of those incredibly long ingredients that I will not even try and say. One is a preservative that has antibacterial and antifungal effects, which is that one that's not good for sensitive hair. We talked about that in the shampoo. The next one is, I'm going to put it on the screen because it's really stupidly long, um, but it is an antioxidant based preservative that helps prevent discolorization or oxidizing. Um, and I think this is amazing, especially if you are colouring your hair. Um, this is an ingredient that's meant to help discoloration from happening. Um, and it helps to stop your colour from oxidising, which is really interesting, especially in like makeup products. Um, but I think it's supposed to be really beneficial for hair, especially if you colour treat your hair. So, moving on, let's talk about the conditioner itself. The conditioner was actually another one of those ingredients that was it, was, it was, it was really, really runny. It was not what I was expecting at all. Generally, with repairing and reconstructing products, they are quite thick um, cream to lotions. This was not like that at all. This was a very, very runny feeling product, and I wasn't expecting much from it because I generally like quite thick products, but I was severely surprised. I might have used a little too much and almost caused it to be a little bit greasy if I wasn't careful, um, because you do need a lot less than you think because it is quite a runny formula actually. Um, it has that same vanilla bean yogurt scent as the shampoo, and I really, really was impressed by it. It made my hair feel really silky smooth and really soft. I did leave it in for a few minutes, um, but it did definitely improve the combability of my hair. It definitely made it feel really soft, um, really silky, really shiny, um, and it was really, really nice. Put that down here for a second. Um, and it also really complemented the shampoo very, very, very well. Um, the one thing that it actually says on the top of, on the front of the bottle, is it actually gives you the pH. Um, range the shampoo and conditioner in and that was actually really interesting to me um, because not a lot of shampoos and conditioners give you the pH and I actually generally look up the pH of my shampoos and conditioners um, but this actually puts it straight on the front of the bottle it's got these really really cool packaging um, but right there it gives you the pH so your shampoo is actually quite alkaline it is a pH between 5.3 and 5.7 which is actually a really really good pH place to be, especially for a shampoo. Um, and then we've also got our conditioner, which is pH between 3.8 and 4.2, which is quite acidic. Um, again, quite a good place to be for a shampoo, for a conditioner, especially when you're pairing the two together. Um, it's it's really good balance. You know, like people use apple cider vinegar and things like that, which is very acidic as a rinse. This kind of gives you that. It gives you that little bit of alkaline. Uh, shampoo and it gives you a little bit of acidity in your conditioner, which I really like that they put that in the packaging. The packaging itself is quite big. Um, it's got the yellow because uh, Fanola actually do their lines in colours um, and it's 350 mils. These are the most affordable shampoo and conditioner that I have reviewed. Uh, these were I think $22 each, but I actually got the set for like $30. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. If I can find a cheap set, I'll leave it in the description box down below. But overall, I really, really liked this shampoo and conditioner. Um, there are obviously a couple ingredients in there that if you have sensitive scalp or hair, maybe to steer clear of, but I don't particularly. Um, I have a little bit of a sensitive scalp, but these ingredients didn't seem to bother me. Uh, and I do think that this would actually be good for most hair types. If you have particularly dry hair, this might not be enough for you. Like, I'm talking very, very dry hair. Um, however, you could definitely pair it with the deep conditioning mask that they have or a deep conditioner, um, and then it will work out very well. And I think even if you had quite oily hair, as long as you didn't go overboard with the conditioner, I think that this would work out really well. The shampoo is definitely cleansing enough that if you have greasy hair, this will definitely get that for you. So I really liked these products. I really do recommend them. Are they my favorite? No, but will I continue to use them? Absolutely. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other shampoos and conditioners you would like me to review. Uh, and if you have tried any of the phenol products, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!